Oh, this is SJ Talks for Life coming back at you with another video. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Please and thank you. <coughs> I am back. Um, I had another ear infection, so I've been dealing with that over the last few days. So I haven't been on here. It's been it's been rough. It's been a journey. Um yeah. I'll talk about that another time. <laughs> but yes, that's what I've been going through over the last few days. Um, I want to talk about black mothers lying to their children about their paternity, about their father. Here I have Carrie Washington here with her mother and her father. Um, a couple of cases, Kirk Franklin and uh, Carrie Washington. Um, excuse me. I was looking at. I was looking at uh, Kirk Franklin's documentary the other day. Um, um, where his mother, well, let me talk about him first. Well, his mother was not forthcoming. He's 53 years old. His mother was not forthcoming and being honest with him about who his father was. Uh, I guess his grandmother raised him. Uh, to make a long story short, his grandmother raised him. For some reason, um, because he had it was a little documentary. It's here on YouTube. It's on his YouTube channel. Uh, he has a YouTube channel, and um, um, it, he didn't make it clear in the video as to uh why his mother did not raise him. That was a big question that was in my mind as to why his mother didn't raise him. I don't know what was going on with her, why she didn't raise her son, but he winded up with his grandmother. His grandmother winded up raising him. So he was raised without his mother and his father. And his mother did was not sure who his father was. He thought his father was another man. But come to find out the man passed away before um thinking, you know, because he confronted him and everything. So the man passed away, the father that he thought he had, the man passed away thinking that he was Kirk Franklin's dad. And um, and Kirk Franklin was a little angry because he couldn't understand why his father wasn't there. Because I guess that's who she initially told him who the father, that this guy was the father. Well, it turns out that... He wasn't the father. I didn't get the, that picture of him. Turns out that he wasn't the father. Turns out this man, this gentleman here that he's posing with, he come to find out they did a DNA test and um, come to find out he, this, this gentleman here uh is his father. And he wasn't that far away. He didn't live that far away from Kurt Franklin's studio, recording studio, ironically. So if you go on his channel, it's on his YouTube channel. It's this little documentary that he has on there and it's going to, you know, he's telling a story and it's very emotional for him. And his mother, um, he has a strained relationship with his mother because his mother wasn't being forthcoming now, why did he have to wait 53 years? Kirk Franklin is 53 years old. This this gentleman here, when it was very emotional when they met, when they, this is where they connected. Kirk Franklin went to his house and showed him the results. And um, he was very emotional. His father was very emotional because he said, had he known he would have been there. 
And Kurt Franklin was like, well, all these years that I wanted a dad, I even wanted a dad and I needed a dad in my life. Because like I said earlier, he was raised with, he was raised by his grandmother. So um, for some reason, his mother wasn't there and his father, you know, was raised without a father. So he's like, all these years, all the, all that, all the things that I went through as a child, wanting and needing my father. And his mother was not forthcoming and letting him know because at the end of the day, you ought to know she should know who she got pregnant by. Some women don't know. But I think that she should have been trying to figure this out before he turned 53 years old. My question is, is that why did he have to turn 53 before he found out who his dad really was? So I, I just, I'm just a little, I'm kind of frustrated with his mom myself because I'm like being a mother myself. I could not imagine keeping something, um, either one of my sons. I mean, there was never with both of my sons, they have, I got two fathers, but there was never, a, that was never a question in my mind as to who their father was because I knew who I was with for a fact. That was not even a millisecond of a question because I knew who I was with. Okay. But if, if it's a situation to where a woman maybe was with multiple partners and maybe don't was is not sure, she should be doing everything in her power while that child is young to find out who this child's father is. I just think it's really sad. I really felt really bad for Kirk Franklin in this documentary. I felt really bad for him because this was very emotional for him. And it was very emotional for his father as well because he cried. He said, had I known, I would have been there. He said, had I known, I would have been there. And it was very emotional for him as well. It, it all boils down to mom not being forthcoming and not trying to find out who his father was when he was younger. And so I, I had, it was, it was a fairly short documentary, so uh, I still had some unanswered questions in my mind. It was like, okay, well, where was she at? Where she, first of all, where was she at where she couldn't raise her son? And why did the grandmother have to raise him? And how come she didn't try to figure out who his father really was? And why did she tell him that one man was his father? When come to find out, he wasn't the father. And he died thinking that he was the father. And then come to find out, this gentleman is the father. And and he's upset because he he was very upset and very emotional because he said, had I known, I would have been there. And so um, Kirk Franklin has to wait till he's 53 years old to find out who his real biological dad is. I mean, that's a lot of years to miss. That's a lot of years to miss with your father. That man, his father, that's a lot of years to miss with your son. So I don't understand why the mother didn't try to figure this out years ago. I don't know if she was ashamed or I don't know what the situation was. And I, I just get frustrated with women that do this. I get really frustrated when women do this kind of stuff. Because me being a mother myself, I would want to tell my sons the truth. As far to my knowledge, that was not an issue for me because, like I said, there was never a question in my mind. Um, but you want to tell your child as much as you can about, because my youngest son's dad wasn't there. So I told him as much as, as far as much as I could tell him about who his father was and everything. Being a mother myself, I could not imagine leaving that something that important as a child's other parent, leaving, leaving that out. And, 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 and it's a situation to where, now, if it's a situation, maybe the mother, I'm thinking maybe the mother is 
a shame. Maybe she was with multiple partners. Maybe she's dealing with some shame and embarrassment. And I get it and I understand that. But that's, you got to, at the end of the day, you got to think about your child. It's not about you. You got to think about your child. You got to push that aside and try to uh, get to the bottom of who this child's father is. Because it's important for the, your child to know. And I just, it frustrates me to hear about cases like these, where these mothers be leaving this, do this to their child. Leaving something important as to the child's other parent. Leaving that information out. Now, Kerry Washington. Now, we'll talk about Kerry Washington. Kerry Washington, you know, uh, outstanding actress. She was on the show Scandal. Uh, did some movies. Very outstanding actress. Um Grew up thinking that she was Jamaican, half Jamaican. Maybe she still is. I don't know. Um, she just recently found out that, not too long ago, either this year or last year, she just found out that her father was not her biological father. She grew up and and went all these years, and I think she's in her 40s. I think she's... Uh, well, she found out, no, she found out, excuse me, I think she found out, she didn't, she found out when she was 41. I think she's, I think she's now, I think she's uh, 46. She found out when she was 41, I think. I'm going to look it up here right quick. She found out, she grew up thinking, you know, that this, this man was her father. And she found out in her 40s that he was not her biological father. Her mother told her that her father was a sperm donor. Carrie Washington was born January 31, 1977. She's 46. And I think she, she found out when she was 41 that um, this man wasn't her biological father. Her mother said that uh, her father, she, he, she, had a, she went to a sperm donor. Well, I don't know how many sperm donors, uh, I don't know. I got some unanswered questions with this too because um, I don't I don't I don't understand why her mother would go to a sperm donor to have a baby. Um so I don't I don't know if it was a situation she went to the sperm donor, got pregnant, met the father, you know, her her father when she thought was her father and got married. I don't know if that's true or not. You know, this this could be another situation to where uh, the mother's ashamed to tell the the real reason why he's not the biological dad. That could be true. Um, it, it could be true, but then it could not be true. I mean, because Carrie Carrie was gonna go on this show where um they they try to find out they they do, they do a little digging and they try to find out who your your um your biological parents are, I mean, uh, biological parents, your heritage. She was going to go on a show where she, they was going to try to, um, that show is so, it's something similar to that show. Who you, who do you think you are? It's, it wasn't, who do you think you are? It was another one, it, but it was a show just like that, where they were going to dig into her family history and stuff. And her parents got upset and didn't want her to do it. And that's when she found out that um, her father that she thought all these years was her biological father wasn't her biological father. And her mother came up with the truth to, to tell her the truth of who her father, uh, well, she don't know who her father really was. Her mother told her that her father was a sperm donor. And the jury is still out on that because either 
she could be telling the truth or it may be a situation to where mom is ashamed to tell her the real truth about her her father. So Terry's walking around not knowing who her real biological father is. We still don't know who her biological father is because her mother told her it was a sperm, sperm donor. Like I said, the jury's still out on that. And my question is, if she didn't wasn't going to do this show, were they going to still keep that under their hat? Were they still were they going to go still co- continue to go without telling Carrie who that this man wasn't her biological father? Were they going to continue to live with this lie if she wasn't going to go on the show? That's my question. And so I don't understand why her mother would do that. And that's what I'm saying. It's like these mothers need to tell their children the truth. Mothers, and not just talking to black women, but all mothers of all races, tell your children the truth. About who their father is. It don't make no sense for Kirk Franklin to have to wait. To have to find out. At 53 years old that this man was his father. He had to find out at 53 years old that this. Because his mother wasn't being forthcoming. That don't make no sense. Mothers need to stop doing that. And I, after looking at both of these these stories, this, hearing about both of these stories, I was a little, you know, frustrated myself. Because I'm like, why would they do that? Why would they go all these years? Why would their mother, Kirk Franklin's mom, Carrie Washington's mom, why would they go all these years without, with, without telling their child the truth. Either there's some shame involved in there, but that's my thought is it, it's not about you. Any shame that you have, you need to push it aside. You need to push it aside and tell your child the truth. You know, that's what you need to do. Because I'm not going to go into to full details, but as far as my son, my youngest son, I was, I was, there was a little shame there. I'm going to be honest. There was a little shame there. I'm not going to go into full detail, but there was a full little shame there. But I had to put my feelings aside and tell my son as much as I could tell him about his father. I had to push those feelings aside because I had to realize that it wasn't about me. My son deserves to know the truth. So these mothers are so busy. You know, if it's a situation where Kirk Franklin's mom, I don't know if it's a situation to where she, I I don't, you know, I don't want to bad mouth her or nothing like that, but maybe it could have been a situation to where she was with multiple people. I don't know. I'm just saying maybe hypothetically or allegedly. You know, I'm not trying to bad mouth for or nothing or no disrespect or nothing like that. And maybe it's a situation to where she's dealing with some shame. And maybe that's why she wasn't forthcoming. But look who's had to suffer all these years. Her son has had to, and it's kind of, you know, made his relationship with his mom kind of rocky. Because he, was, he, you know, he was already trying to bond and have a, draw a close relationship with his mom because she didn't raise him. And then he he finds out about this. So his relationship with his mom is 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 shaky, you know, because she 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 kept this under her hat all these years. And so he, this man had to go 53 years without knowing who his biological father is. This man, his biological father had to go all these years without knowing who his son is. I mean, I, I, I couldn't help but to think, imagine finding out Kirk Franklin is your son. <laughs> you know, and so, 
sometimes when we sometimes our decisions affect other people sometimes the decisions that we make affects other people sometimes we're not the only ones that that have to suffer sometimes other people have to suffer for our decisions that we make and mothers make a huge mistake when they when they do that that the mother should never do that Always tell your children the truth. The children deserve to know the truth about both of both parents, mother and father. And women need to stop doing that. Women need to stop keeping that information from their children. If it's a situation to where, um, it, it, where the woman was with multiple men, I'm not saying that's the case in his situation, but it's the case in a lot of situations. Yes, it may be, you may be feeling some shame when having to confront this with your child. But as a mother, it's your responsibility as a mother to get down to the bottom of it. And as soon as you possibly can, as soon as you possibly can, get to the bottom of it. Because I I didn't know find out about my granddaughter until she was three years old. I miss I miss my granddaughter's infant. I mean, I don't want to try to bad my her mother and make her mother look bad. I, I I'm not even about all that. I ain't trying to go into all that. I found out about my granddaughter on Facebook. Yeah, I found out about her on Facebook. To make a long story short, and I didn't find out about her until she was three years old. So I missed I missed that whole like I now that bonding time and stuff that I got with my grandson, I didn't get with my granddaughter. I felt like I was robbed of three years of her life because her mother was was not doing things in a timely manner like she should have been doing them, you know. And so it, it's it's a lot more to it than that, and I'm not gonna really go into all that. Um but Mothers need to stop doing this because other people are going to are affected. He had to go talk to his son and his son was very emotional, um, you know, about now that he has a grandfather and his son was a very his his grown son was very emotional about it as well. You know, because now he has a grandfather that he didn't have the opportunity to to get to know growing up. So it's a lot of people that were affected because mom was lollygagging around and trying to keep secrets and stuff because she might be possibly dealing with some shame. Mom trying to sweep things under the carpet, trying to, you know, and and all, all these people are being affected by your decisions that you made. And it's not fair. It's not fair to your child. It's, mothers cannot do that. You you can't just be selfish in a situation like that and just think about yourself. It's not about you. Yes, you may be dealing with some shame, but you got to tell your child the truth. You got to tell them the truth. Like I said, I dealt with a lot when I, I was dealing with a little shame as far as my youngest son's dad. But I, I had to tell him he had he deserved to know the truth and he deserved to know who his father was and and even you know under, try to have a better understanding as to why he his father wasn't there. You know? He deserved to know. And so that's I had to put my feelings aside and realize at the end of the day, it's not about me. It's not about me, but it's about my son. And it was important for him to know who his father was and all that. And it's not fair for me to keep that from him. Because I'm going by how I feel. Well, that's when, as a mother, you got to push your feelings aside. It's not about you. It's about the child. Too many women get wrapped up in their own feelings. 
You got to push your feelings aside, whether it be shame or guilt or whatever. You got to push that stuff aside and get down to the nitty gritty and, 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 and do the investigation and take the steps that you need to take to find out who your child's father is so your child can have that information. Especially if you call yourself loving your child. But mothers need to stop doing this. They need to stop doing it. Kerry Washington went all those years, 40-something years, thinking this man was her father. It don't make no sense. Her, her mother was going to keep keeping that secret. It wasn't until she was about to go on that show. And I, I think if she wasn't finna go on that show, her mother was going to keep that, keep trying to keep that secret. How could you do this? How, how can she? I don't get it. I, I don't understand it. Getting caught up in your, I think, I don't know. It's, I, I don't know. I don't know if I believe the sperm donor story. I, I don't know. Because why wouldn't you just tell her the truth when she was much younger then? I, I think it's more to it than meets the eye. I really do. You know, maybe mom is dealing with some shame and she don't want to, you know, be forthcoming. But your child deserves to know the truth. They deserve to know who their other parent is. What if it's a medical situation it, or whatever? It might be a medical situation to where they need the blood or a kidney or something. See, they don't think about that. What if it's a medical situation? I mean, you know, what if it? You need to find out your 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 history. Like when I go to the doctor, they ask me my family's history on both sides. They ask me my family's health history on both sides. Okay, well, if you don't know who your who your father is, or you have very little information about your dad, then you don't know their, their medical history on his side, you know? So, I mean, that's important to know for medical information. That's important for you to know the other parent for medical information. So, it, it's, 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 just not, it's just not right. These mothers don't think about that. But these are two famous people that have to deal with that. But there's so many people that have to deal with the same thing. I'm just glad in the case of my granddaughter that um, she was still she was still relatively young when you know um, we got this all figured out. You know, my son found out that uh, that he had a daughter and everything. But what if she had to let time drag on even further? And she had to let stuff drag out even longer. See? And so that's that's not good for mothers to do that. Mothers shouldn't do that. Mothers need to stop doing that. Tell your child the truth about who their father is. It don't matter if you shame. You you if you shame, you gotta push that aside. Your child deserves to know the truth. It's not about you, it's about that child. Do whatever you can. It was this, I'm sorry if this video's long. It was this lady on uh the Maury show. Cracked me up. Her name was Marisol. If you ever watched the Maury show, it was this young lady on there by the name of Marisol. This was a few years back. So it it was funny, but it wasn't funny. She had so many men tested. And all, and all the men, I can't remember how many men she had tested, but she had so many men tested, and none of them turned out to be the father. Maury felt so bad for her, he, he offered her a trip to Disneyland, her and the kids a trip to Disneyland. So I shouldn't laugh. It's funny, but it's not funny. Marisol, look it up on YouTube. The episodes might be on YouTube. Her name, I remember her name was Marisol. And I used to watch Maury's show almost every day. And, and she kept bringing guys on, on there and getting them tested. And none of these guys turned out to be the father. And she brought, I don't know how many of them on there. <laughs> this was unbelievable. I'm like, good gracious. And and so he felt Maury felt so sorry for her. 
that he just said, well, I'm going to give you and kid, the kids a trip to Disney or Disney World or whatever. But it was funny. It was funny, but it wasn't funny. Because her child is walking around, or children are walking around, not knowing who their father is. So it's it's really sad. And and this woman slept with so many men to the point that she don't even know what what is what. And so that's 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 sad. That's really sad. It was funny, but then it went again when it wasn't funny. You know, it's like that's sad. Ladies, mothers do it whatever you can. If the paternity hasn't been established for your, the father of your child, do whatever you can to find out who the father. Don't wait till the child is in their 40s and 50s. Don't do that to the child. Find out as soon as you can. So if there's a possibility for that child to have a relationship with their dad, they can have the relationship with their dad. Don't wait till the child is in their 50s. That's not loving. That's not okay. Kirk was robbed. I feel so bad for him because he was robbed. He said, all these years, everything I went through as a child, needing a father, wanting a father, and needing a father, and this man said that if he had a if he had a new, he would have been there. He cried. He said, "If I had a known, I would have been there." So mothers got to stop doing this. Mother didn't say too much of nothing, but his relationship with his mother is strained because he doesn't understand why she would do this all these years. You know? So hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. Um, yeah, Kirk Franklin and Kerry Washington, two famous people that didn't, that the, their, the paternity of the father was hidden, was kept from them for years and years and years. And But that happens to so many people. These are two famous cases. But it, it happens to so many people. It happens to so many people. And, you know, well, I, I, I've been watching paternity court. <laughs> I've been watching paternity court here on YouTube. And, and sometimes it, there's grown adult children that's on there. There's Sometimes there's grown folks on there. Sometimes there's grown adult children on there that's looking to find out if if the the guy is their their dad, it's really sad. Nobody should have to wait that long to find out who their biological father is. Mothers need to tell their children the truth. So, let me know what your thoughts are on that, Kerry Washington and Kirk Franklin. Let me know what your thoughts are and how you feel about women doing that. Um, do you know somebody that that has done that or was it done to you? Or uh just let me know what are you, what what are your thoughts on that, on women doing that? Um not being forthcoming about who the child's father is and waiting years and years and years. Uh, just let me know. Go ahead and hit that like that subscribe button and like and the share. And a notification bell. So every time I do a video, you'll be notified. And until the next video, be blessed.